Have you noticed it yet? You know, you're suddenly holding that book or phone screen at arm's length and the letters are still out of focus. Don't worry, what you're experiencing may be a normal part of aging. It's presbyopia and it's the gradual loss of your eye's ability to focus on nearby objects. It usually becomes noticeable in your early to mid 40s and continues to worsen until around age 65. Dr. Allison Tendler with Art Vision in Sioux Falls understands that this loss in vision can feel that it happened overnight and is very frustrating. And sometimes reading glasses make us feel older than we really are. Thankfully, you have more options than ever when it comes to correcting the problem. And Dr. Tendler is here to tell us more about them. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you so much for coming in. I've heard this so much from my parents. Those reading glasses <laughs> have to come out and they do not like it. And your parents aren't old, right? No, they're not old. And my dad has had LASIK. So okay. you'd think once you have eye surgery, right, it's just going to be perfect the rest of your life. It's a great investment to get you a long ways mm -hmm. down the road. But one thing that you cannot fight are birthdays, and birthdays are blessed things. Mm -hmm. But with that, 100% of people who have enough birthdays will develop reading vision issues. You just can't, you can't fight it. Right. And this is known as presbyopia. Presbyopia, the fancy term, presbyopia. Basically meaning I'm now struggling to see things, whether that's mid-range as we start off, but really up close items. So those pill bottles, even just seeing your cell phones, something simple like reading a menu becomes very difficult. And this is normal for everyone, right? It is normal. And it it uh, there's nothing you can do to change it um, as from the process of happening so it's it is again it's a sign of aging it's one of the first things I think that comes about when we start like oh my gosh I don't I don't think I'm old but my eyes are telling me I'm getting right. old right exactly. and I don't like it <laughs> right so what are some options for presbyopia there are several. There are several options. Um, there are non-surgical options, first of all. There are always glasses and contact lenses. Those are tools to help us try to transition throughout this, uh, tr you know, this change in our lives. Then we start thinking about um, we start thinking about transition lenses, progressive lenses, and people are constantly annoyed yet mm -hmm. feeling like I don't have a choice in how I'm going to get through this stage of my life, except with glasses or contacts. There's also a new medication that came out um, within the within the last year or so and it is an eye drop that is again it's not curing anything but it's trying to help you through that transition zone where maybe I don't have to be so dependent on my reading glasses for everything yet and that drop is called Vuity and it works by actually constricting your pupil so okay. it makes your pupil smaller to give you what's called a pinhole effect and when we do that in our eyes you actually have a higher range of vision for here here and out in the distance. Okay, so then what are some surgical options? So then we start coming to surgical options. When we are into our um, kind of our early 30s into our mid 40s, some of the surgical options that can get us by in transition, laser vision corrections such as LASIK, PRK, and those are gonna be temporary because they are actually working on the structure of your eye called the cornea, which is the window of your eye. But that window of your eye isn't what is causing your presbyopia. So another option that I will not look at for people until they're at least about 45 or 50 years old is actually replacing the structure in your eye that is the root cause of that presbyopia or your reading vision. And that is this little guy right here, your lens. Your lens sits behind your iris. So when we think of LASIK or PRK, we're working on a cornea, all right? But this is the structure and protein within it that is changing and getting less flexible. Okay. And when it gets less flexible as we age, we lose that quote unquote flexibility for our reading vision as well. So a surgical alternative is actually for us to remove the protein within that lens, replace it with a new lens that allows us to have multifocality and gain quote unquote gain our reading vision. And that back. lens is really small. It is super tiny. We can see it right is, now next to a penny. It is super tiny. Uh, it is only a few millimeters uh, in length, and it is able to be slipped into the eye, which sounds really interesting. Our incisions are super microscopic, like one millimeter and about two and a half millimeters that we're able to get the old protein material out 
and insert that new lens. Can you feel angle. it afterward? Is it still no. comfortable? No, it is. It's not like a. It's not like a contact lens where you're wearing right. on the outside of your eye or anything like that. Once you have surgery, you don't feel it. You don't sense it. It becomes very natural. The other thing that's really cool about it is that with people with glasses or their contacts, they're constantly trying to find that sweet spot yep. because their glasses only have sweet spots within a certain area of that lens that they have. But this lens, once we put it in, it's very natural, and so you're not you're not trying to find a sweet spot it is um I, I, people love it they're like i feel like i feel like i'm young again i feel like i'm empowered i don't have to rely so much on devices or people to see price tags when i'm in the right. store is it intense is it an intense surgery and is there a lot of downtime after it have you heard of cataract surgery yes so it is actually the same steps that we do for cataract surgery. And cataract surgery is done very commonly. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't think too much about that. It's like, oh, I'll probably have cataract someday. Well, it's the same steps, but done earlier in the process. The same lens, if left in, that protein, would eventually become a cataract. So another oh. benefit as well of doing something a little bit earlier to say, hey, I want to be less dependent on my glasses, and particularly my readers, is that you will actually never develop a cataract and never have to go through cataract surgery. So there's more benefits even that come with it then? There's a really long-term benefit for this. And once it's done, it's done. With your LASIK surgery that was working here, I can't change the fact that with age, you're still going to develop right. reading vision issues. You're still going to develop a cataract. But with this, I'm now able to get people back their distance vision if they never had that, but also give them that near pop that they really are wanting just for functional things again, just looking at your computer screen. I want to look at my cell phone, my watch, easy things that we do all of the time that we now are able to like gift ourselves back. Right. And the things you just mentioned, we have an image for that. So it fixes all of these things so that you can see better and then you don't have to be frustrated. So it is truly to help minimize frustration for that very distance vision, as well as that intermediate, which we often think of our computers, and then our up close, such as our cell phones. And I will say there's no 100% in anything in medicine. Right. There's no 100% like I will never need my glasses again for anything. I think that's elusive mm -hmm. um, and that the technology isn't as good as God. That's what I always right. say. God, God did it best the first time. However, if we can minimize it and say like 90% of the time, I'm able to be free and functional and live my life without having to like, where did I put those? Right, the um, I'm laying on the sofa and it's like, okay, now I can't really see that through these glasses yeah. and I've got to do this. Like, it is such a um, empowering moment it sounds to, like to it. see people um, go through this journey and then hear them on the backside on how it's changed their lives. Oh, I can't even imagine. Well, thank you so much. We are out of time, but thank you for coming in and telling us all about it. Thank you. Art Vision in Sioux Falls offers vision solutions to help you see the world better, see yourself better. You will find their offices at 2102 West 69th Street in Suite 204. You can call to schedule a consultation or go online to find out more about the many vision correction options they offer. Their website is artvisionsf.com. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Art Vision and Artisan Skin and Laser Center in Sioux Falls, where their focus is on you. Art Vision and Artisan Skin and Laser Center strive to provide high quality service to help meet the unique needs of each and every patient and to help you see the world better, see yourself better.